All right, good morning, boys and girls. So it is Monday, April 27th, 2020. I hope that you had a great three-day weekend. So for this week, we're going to study the very famous poet, Shel Silverstein. Before we study him, let's go ahead and talk about our expectations. Number one, make sure you have your pencil and packet available. You have your packet, it's turned to April 27th, 2020, and your pencil is nice and sharp, ready to go. All right, expectation number two, when I say pause, please pause your video and fill out the section. When you're finished filling out the section, just unpause your video. Or like I've said before, if I'm going a little too fast, then just pause your video so that you're able to control your own learning. And at the end of this video, please complete the exit ticket on Teams. The exit ticket says exit ticket for 4, 27, 20. All right, let's go ahead and spark. So it is Gut Secret Monday. So how are you going to show grit during this challenging time? So what is, how are you going to show grit? How are you gonna show that you're never going to give up? So for me, I will show grit this week by turning in my online assignments. So how are you going to show grit? I'm gonna give you a minute to think about it and fill it out. One minute is on the timer, go. Let's see, there's many ways that you can show grit. It can be for school or it can be at home. How are you going to show grit this week? Thirty, about thirty more seconds. Thank you for using the stem and putting punctuation at the end of your sentence. All right, 10 more seconds to wrap up your thoughts. We're gonna come and slant in three, two, one. Awesome. So let's go ahead and talk about our do now. It says use the word box to fill in the blanks. So I know that Ms. Price has talked to you about biographies and I have to a little bit. So what is a biography? You have one, two, three, four things to fill out. You have a word box and each of these words should go in the blank. So let me go ahead and give you two minutes to do your do now. Two minutes, go. Please make sure you use your word box. Okay. Awesome, you should be on number two by now. Thank you for using your word box. Thank you for filling in these blanks. Okay, you should be on the last two. Let's, see. we're gonna check it in about 45 seconds. Double check your work to make sure that every single 
sentence makes sense. Okay, three, two, one. All right, let's go ahead and check your notes. So a biography is the story about someone's life. Good job. A biography is written by someone else. Awesome. Remember that an autobiography is written by the person themselves. Biographies are usually written about famous, good job, people. And also a biography highlights the famous person's accomplishments. Good job and thank you for spelling it correctly because it is right here. And what is an accomplishment? It's things that make them successful. All right, let's keep going. Double, so did you know that April is National Poetry Month? So I know that we've been doing poetry all month during distance learning, and we are going to study a really famous poet this week. So, the famous poet, his name is Shel Silverstein. You may or may not have heard of him before. He's really famous for books like The Giving Tree, or I've seen a couple of y'all read The Missing Piece. So, before we le learn about his type of poetry, we're going to learn some information about him first. So, that's why we're doing a biography today. So go ahead and label your text features. You're going to have a little passage that is six paragraphs long. It's a biography because it's the story of the life of a famous poet. So take 30 seconds to fill this out or to do your text features. There you go. Ten more seconds. Slant in three, two, one. Let's see if you labeled them correctly, which I'm sure you did. So let's start with our first text feature. What text feature is this? If you said a title, great. So our title is Famous Poet Shel Silverstein. I see two more text features on this page. What other text features do you see? Great. You see a photograph. Who do you think this is a photo of? You're right, this is Shel Silverstein. So, because this is a story about his life and the different accomplishments that he had. Let's see, do you recognize this? Well, first we know it's an illustration. But did you know that this is the cover of his most famous book, The Giving Tree? Well, now you do. Let's go ahead and... Since this is a biography and a reading passage, I do expect hashtags. So one, two, 
three, four, five, six hashtags. But we know that our hashtags will be easy because we know our topic, which is who? Shell Silverstein. Let's go ahead and read the first paragraph together. So we're going to put our pencils down and track. A truly unique and multifaceted artist, Shel Silverstein was a renowned poet, playwright, illustrator, screenwriter, and songwriter. Best known for his immensely popular children's books, including The Giving Tree, Falling Up, and Delight in the Attic. Silverstein has delighted tens of millions of readers around the world, becoming one of the most popular and best loved children's authors of all time. What should we hashtag this? I'm going to give you a minute to hashtag. Remember, if you're stuck, start with your topic. This is a biography, so who is it about? And then start from the first sentence, then the next. Go in order to find a hashtag. Twenty more seconds. Thank you for keeping your pencil moving. Awesome. So what is the first paragraph mostly about? Let's start with our topic, Shell Silverstein. What did we learn about Shell Silverstein in this first paragraph? Awesome. We learned that he was a renowned poet. Renowned is a synonym for famous. So Shel Silverstein is famous for what? Poet, playwright, illustrator, screenwriter, and songwriter. Hmm. Poet, playwright, screenwriter, songwriter. What do those things have in common? Great. You said that they were all writers. So he is a famous for writing. And we know illustrating is drawing. Straight teak. So that's a great hashtag. Shell Silverstein is famous for writing and illustrating. All right. So I'm going to ask you to pause and read. Read and hashtag the rest of the passage. When you're finished, please go to the back and we will talk about it. All right, thank you for unpausing your video. So your directions. Say, use famous poet Shel Silverstein to answer the following questions. Complete exit ticket for 427, that is today's date, 20 on Teams. Okay, so number one says, born, died. When was Shel Silverstein born? When was he born? What am I going to have to do? Of course, go back to your passage. What year was he born? If 
you said he was born, so it says born in Chicago on September 25th, 1930. So he was born in 1930. When did he die? You're gonna have to look up that information. Where was Shel Silverstein born? Again, you can find this information in the text. So your job is to answer these questions. Please use complete sentences when you can. And then right here it says draw a picture to represent some part of Silverstein's life or poetry. So I know that Where the Sidewalk Ends is one of my favorite poetry books by him. So I'm going to draw a picture of a sidewalk. This is where it ends. So you can draw whatever you want to represent some part of Silverstein's life or poetry. And then you will answer these questions. Again, use your passage to answer these questions and then complete your exit ticket on Teams for 4 Good luck.